So you might be 18 or 19 years old watching this video and you've been invited to seek justice, to step out of the box and have conversations about race and have conversations about slavery and exploitation and you might feel like your whole world's being turned upside down and it is because the world that we live in and the gospel that we preach unfortunately is not what God intended when we usually have conversations about the gospel we love to take the cross away from Jesus we love to bring God down to our level. And what we end up with is a diminished gospel that doesn't actually lead to transformation, but leaves us looking like everyone else. My hope is that when you come to Wreck Week, you would be wrecked, but that word wreck is actually short for reconciliation where you would be set on a journey where you're reconciled to yourself, that you would know that you are made in the image of God to flourish, work, ruin, create. Genesis 1 and 2 and Psalm 139. That you would be able to look at the people around you and know that they too are made in the image of God to flourish, work, ruin, and create. And then when you look at systems and structures in this world, you would not cower because the problem is too big, but you would actually look at it and say, my God is bigger than sex trafficking and labor slavery. My God is bigger than a horrible campaign finance system in the United States. My God is bigger than the exploitation that happens on Wall Street and all of the different physical and systems in this world. Like My God is bigger bigger than racism and slavery. My God is bigger than colonization and bigotry. My God is bigger than that. My hope is that you would come to Wreck Week, have your system disrupted, not by some psychological experiment, but by the God who loves you, so that you're able to see yourself and see this world rightly and know that you were made to love and be loved and be in right relationship with God, with one another and all of creation to do amazing transformative things. We must not exchange the kingdom of God for the American dream. It falls much, much shorter than what we were actually made for. So when you come to Rec Week, you are invited not to be a passive person, but to actually participate in what God is doing. And I promise you, if, we, if you create the space and say yes, our good God will meet you because he says, if you seek me with all of your heart, I will show up.